Which one event would you say changed your life? Two days before my 22nd birthday, I got crushed by a tractor. I had a scar from here to here. Lost the use of my legs for two months. Wow. Was paralyzed, told me I'd never walk. And the three miracles that I built up to that point. Three miracles? Yeah, like when I got crushed initially, it was in construction. A nurse had saw what happened, right? She mentioned, hey, he's not breathing. Call an ambulance. Good thing I had her on site, right? Blood was coming out of my mouth, my ears. I got crushed. I got smacked up against the wall. I was actually standing like this, checking with a great stick. And I got hit like this in the stomach. The ambulance had driven by by a mile. So they turned around and came back second. One third miracle, we were having an abdominal surgeon's meeting at the hospital. This was like back when they had pagers and shit, right? So they were taking a break to go to Carl's Jr. and they got paged that there was a crush victim. So that's like a broken down car in an Indy 500 race. So they all jammed back into the hospital. I come in, 18 hours of surgery, full blood transfusion. And then I woke up two weeks later out of a coma and saw my dad. When I woke up and they told me I was paralyzed. They had attorneys in the hospitals talking about having a van into a million dollars and being handicapped the rest of my life, I thought no. So anyway, long story short, I walked out of the hospital. What do young people worry too much about? What other people think, what they look like, where's my phone? <laughs> things that they don't need to, unnecessary. Well, I mean, this day and age, there's probably a lot of things they need to worry about life and where they're going, but I think it's mostly just what the image, trying to be like somebody else. They worry about being popular, how many friends we have, how many likes, and all that kind of stuff. You are 63 years old, man. How is it being 63 years old? Fun. Well, for me, it is. You have to create that. When you get to that point, you live with regrets or what? So it's just fun for me. How do you not live with regrets? Don't look back. Forget about them. Forgive yourself, basically. And uh, we all make mistakes. So, you know, and have a faith. That's where I've survived the most in life is having my faith. What's your biggest fear? How much time I have left? So if I'm 63, you got to think about that. You don't think like this when you're in their 30s and 40s because you figure you got a lot of time, right? When you start hitting 50, 60, you think, well, how long do people live? And what is your lifestyle? And then you start seeing people around you. That's probably your, my biggest fear. Especially you probably being a busy man. You want to do a lot of things. Right. I like traveling and stuff, you know, but you know, and you can make all your money, but your health is your wealth. Trust me, at this age, that's when you start to realize that kind of stuff. And your things change, you know? I think I might have about maybe 25 years, lived to 90. I probably want to go go by then, you know? Electric cars, levitating. I mean, you can't believe what's going to happen in the future, right? It's going to be weird. What has been your longest relationship? When I was younger and stupid, uh, in my 20s, I guess the success of it was we were friends. So that's the best thing I can say is friends. So that'd be the secret to that relationship, man, yeah, would be... It's pretty much a secret to any relationship. <laughs> Because if you're not friends first and you put the other stuff first, we all know that doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what has been the most memorable time period of your life? When my son was born and how he was born. I would talk to her, my wife's stomach at the time, and say his name. And uh, a lot of times I'd be down there and I'd say his name. And the second time I'd say his name, Marcio, he kicked me in the face, you know, because they move in the stomach when he was born. I don't want to get graphic, but when his head came out, okay, I said his name because I was right there. I said it a second time. Like I said, he always responded to me when I said it a second time. Well, he turned his head up like that and opened his eyes. And I was the first human he saw. So yeah, that would be my most memorable moment.